Guys, this is Sega Rally 2, the Sega Rally Championship for the Sega Dreamcast. As you guys know, I picked this one up off of eBay. It came in, came in when I got my Game Boy Advance Micro. And uh, I'm just getting a chance to play it now. And uh, I have to say, so far, so good. Got some nice art in here. And uh, we'll pop that in the Dreamcast and fire it up again. Here we got the old Dreamcast booting up, of course. Um, I haven't played the Dreamcast in a while. It's always good to get the Dreamcast out. And uh, here we go. I left this in just to show you that uh, the battery in my Dreamcast is definitely dead. Powered by Windows CE. That's a little strange, but there you go. Not sure exactly what that's about. But I know some of the innards of the Dreamcast's, at least operating system or, or programming is... Uh, is based on the Windows CE so a little collaboration with Microsoft there before Microsoft had their Xbox now this game came out in the arcades uh, in 1998 and uh, it came out for the Dreamcast in 1999 um, just a quick look at the options I'm not going to go into much but you know all the typical stuff you can change to kilometers per hour and even though I'm Canadian, I usually leave games in miles per hour. As a gearhead, you're kind of just used to, you know, a car's performance, uh, you know, being measured in miles per hour. Now there's an arcade mode and there's a 10-year championship mode, which was of course added just to the Dreamcast. Uh, it was not in the arcade. And from here you can go through the championship or just do a single track. Now there's a lot of cars in this game, which is a plus. You know, there's only a few cars in the first one, but here you got, you know, the Celica was in the first one. There's your Impreza WRX. You got your Lancer Evolution. Uh, the Lan Lancia was in the first one. Both the Lancias were in the first one. Um, but yeah, there's definitely some more cars. I was wondering where Ford was, and before you Americans laugh, you gotta remember that in Europe, Ford's a completely different ball game. You know, they've had the turbocharged Cosworth uh, rear-wheel drive escorts. They had the all-wheel drive escorts in Rally. Uh, 1998, I believe, was around the time that they switched to the Focus, and uh, Colin McRae started driving for them. Um, so Ford was serious business in, you know, WRC. They, they were competitive. And uh, I did find out that the European version of this game does have Ford in it and for some reason it's just our North American version here got no Ford in it so kinda sucks but anyways here we go uh, first uh, first level in the championship here and uh, as you can see I'm using an automatic uh, I'm just kinda playing around I'm not doing t uh, very good at this game it does definitely take some some getting used to the controls are very arcade like they're very touchy um, they're very finicky. Definitely takes some getting used to. Um, I mean, as you can see graphically, you know, it's a pretty good looking game. It's I haven't seen this Saga Rally 2 in the arcade, at least I don't think I have. I don't remember actually ever playing this game in the arcades, but uh, I'm sure these graphics are fairly, you know, accurate to what the arcade was. You know, they're certainly not like drop dead gorgeous. You know, they may be up there for Dreamcast graphics, but they're, they're, they're probably not the best of the best. 
Uh, but, you know, it, like I said, it is an arcade racing game. And uh, I'm sure it's accurate to the arcade. And there you go. Working my way up. Oh, yeah, I'd like to uh, throw one out to my subscribers. As you noticed, I've now got a thousand subscribers. Uh, I don't know how long you've been doing YouTube videos for. Probably about a year. You know, I've got like 130 videos. But I've been putting them out pretty quickly over the last year. Maybe a year and a half. And uh, I've got a thousand subscribers now. Um, definitely a majority of them are regulars. And I would like to thank all you guys, especially the regular guys. You know who you are. You know, the ones that post, you know, positive comments and, you know, you're there every time a new video comes out. Um, so anyways, I put a little, uh, little thanks to the, the thousand, ah, I put a little thanks to the 1,000 subscribers, uh, in the VMU, if you didn't notice that, in the intro. And, uh, so that's what that was all about. We've got the cobblestone. Uh, this game does support the vibration uh, feature, which actually that cobblestone road uh, kind of just made me remember. Uh, the game does support the vibration pack, or force pack. I can't remember what, the, what, what Sega called it for the Dreamcast, but there is the two controller slots in the controller for VMUs or memory cards. And they did come out with a vibration pack that you could put in the secondary uh, controller slot. I unfortunately don't have the vibration pack, but uh, the game does support vibration or force feedback. Um, there's a lot more levels in this stage. Uh, the desert, I believe that this is the desert here. This level is based on the original, the first arcade version and the Saturn version, which you've seen me do. Um, the desert is in this one, but there's, I believe, five, five levels added to this one. So there's six tracks in this one, and there's about, oh, geez, I don't know off the top of my head, but there's probably like, you know, six to eight cars. So, you know, that's nice. When I got the game, I figured it would just be the old Lancia Delta and the, the Toyota Celica again, you know, two or three cars like the last one. Uh, so, you know, even though there was no Ford in my version, I was happy to see, you know, the Evolution and then the WRX. Those kind of rally cars that you would expect to see in a rally game. You know, it's nice to see some licensing, you know, even in an arcade game where, you know, it doesn't have to be realistic, but it's nice to have the, the real cars in it. Uh, by default, the triggers are your gas and brake, and uh, that works pretty good on the Dreamcast, as most of you should know. The Dreamcast triggers are analog triggers, um, they're not buttons, they're triggers. Uh, so that works out nice for the gas and the, the brake pedal. Uh, it's just always awkward shifting on Dreamcast games, I find uh, a lot of games where your, your, your gas and your brake pedal are the triggers, then you're kind of using the face buttons to shift. Uh, so that's a little awkward. Um, in this one, it's uh, X and A uh, to shift up and down. Uh, it takes a second to get used to, but it's not a big deal. And then, of course, you can use the D-pad or the analog stick to steer. Like I said, it's a little touchy. It definitely takes some getting used to. Uh, you know, I just got the game. This is really the first uh, day that I've got to play it. Um, you know, and so far I like the game. It's definitely a good arcade racing game, which is, you know, it, that's what you would expect from Sega. I mean, the original Sega Rally was a good arcade racing game, and, uh, you know, therefore this Sega Rally 2, it's, it's a good arcade racer as well. And there we go. I am dead.